Greetings good people, Grammy Award winning musician Dana Leong here. In today's video, I'm going to uncover how healthy is a juice fast. Cheers! <laughs> Let's go. This is the first of our series called Upgrade Me, where I'll be sharing pearls of wisdom and life hacks for greater improved productivity. If you find this kind of content useful and want to see more, please do hit the like, share, comment, subscribe actions to help keep this content visible on this platform and so we can keep bringing you useful and entertaining content. This video is brought to you by tectonicmusic.org, which is a global community of artists using the power of music to make positive social change. They create motivational music-driven events needs-based scholarships in developing areas of the world, and albums to help chill you out. Check them out. Stream and support their music while supporting global harmony. Hashtag Harmony Heals. It seems like everywhere I look these days, people are talking about diets, weight loss, anti-aging, longevity, resilience, carbs, ketos, etc. As someone who travels and appears in public for a living, I've tried almost every diet and workout regimen ever invented, especially while I tried crowdsourcing my workouts over a period of time where I did not allow myself to refuse any invitation to a workout related activity. That was interesting to say the least. That being said, most of my diets come out of curiosity and desire to optimize my performance process. I feel it's necessary to look reasonably good on camera and on stage. So due to my experimental nature, I have always tried what may have been deemed both as safe and not so safe. Therefore, disclaimer, I am not a doctor and this is not intended to be medical advice keep saying that. Are you a doctor, aren't you? But rather a sharing of my own personal experiences and results. If you have ongoing health issues, please consult multiple medical professionals. That being said, one of the staple health practices I've kept and improved upon for the past decade is juicing. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that kind of juicing. By now, pretty much everyone is probably aware of making juices and or smoothies. If you have not personally went through this kind of dietary shift or supplementation, I must warn you, you probably won't want to be somewhere outside of a short sprint to the bathroom. Everyone's body is different, but it'll take a day or two or more for your body to adjust to taking in all of the nutrients from either a fully liquid or increased liquid diet. However, regardless of your level of experience, the key that a lot of people forget, including the fitness and health enthusiast, is the most basic make or break ingredients. Sugar. Yeah, cause this is a common sugar rush. You don't know what? I'm gonna take it down to animal. <laughs> Whether you believe in books like The Sugar Blues that demonize white processed sugar as a contributor to diabetes, being ultimately carcinogenic, and even causing the downfall of the Roman Empire. Say what? The fact of the matter is that tons of people load their juice machines and blenders up with highly sweetened ingredients without even thinking about it, that which do not help you lose weight, since these fruits and sweeteners are tasty, but they are loaded with sugars. Whole fruits do have sugar, but your body is going to react to that sugar in a very different way. There are plenty of resources online about other significant contributors to weight gain, uh, retention such as carbs, impacted feces in your intestines, mainly from red meat. <laughs> and even salt retention while activating your body's fight or flight mechanism during stressful times. So I won't go into those. The basic concept is simple. Green vegetables that don't taste sweet are going to be the most fortified in healthy ingredients from an array of vitamins, iron, fiber, and even some protein. They give you a healthy energy boost and accelerate detoxification in your body. And it is what you think. Uh, it means that that drink will in fact taste similar to the smell of a fresh cut lawn. If you have ever had one of those pure wheatgrass shots, you've already got the idea. So what are the ingredients already, you're asking? It will depend on what is available locally for you, but I usually take a lap or, or a tour around the organic produce section of the grocery store and select from what looks best, what's in season, and what's in budget. Uh, nobody said this was going to be cheap, 
but it will be cheaper and better for you than buying one of those juice fast cleanse kits that may also be packing some hidden sugars. Foods within the 70 to 100 range will give you the quickest sugar spikes. Okay, today we're starting up with some cucumbers, some parsley, some bell peppers, uh, red has more vitamin C than green, but actually either will do. Uh, green is more budget friendly as well. We're going on with ginger, cabbage. Yes, there is sugar in cabbage, but also when it's raw, it's very high in fiber, so you won't be retaining that sugar so long, and it's a natural form of sugar. Lastly, some stalks of celery. And today, since we're in Japan, we're actually uh, lucky enough that we've got uh, some red shiso, which is uh, uh, very, very healthy. It has a long-standing tradition of being juiced and uh, made teas of uh, during the summertime. Other popular options are kale, spinach, wheatgrass, Swiss chard, which I find a little bit bitter, uh, broccoli, which I haven't tried yet, I'm dying to try, uh, lime, turmeric in moderation, tomatoes and fennel, but again, watch the ratio and the levels of those sugars. And if you cannot stand the taste of a meadow in your mouth, I would say that adding one light and natural sweetening ingredient is okay. You can always step down from there. For example, uh, sweeteners I used to use while I was starting out juicing are one banana or one apple or one orange or one tangerine, uh, and eventually I stepped down to one passion fruit. As of today, my taste has gotten much more sensitive, so I use only one lemon as my sweetener per pitcher of juice. I no longer use any kind of synthetic powders or protein, uh, like protein powder, muscle building supplements, etc. But for those who are seeking a natural option for an extra boost of protein, I drop a big spoon of chia seeds or green hemp powder at the end. Don't worry, or perhaps I should say, don't expect don't to get high. Hemp powder is made from an inactive uh, male hemp plant, so it possesses zero of the chemicals from its a much more popular female counterpart. And so you can check those out. Some of you may be wondering, which juicer should I buy? Well, the answer is basically, Cold press masticating means the machine moves slow. It presses, crunches, grinds between gears or simulates chewing action of your teeth as opposed to a centrifuge machine that spins a blade super fast, thus heating your stuff. Heat kills enzymes, so you wanna keep your drank from heating up. I gotta say, I gotta say, most of the cold press juicers out there are indeed a bit expensive but I was actually able to find a hand crank cold press juicer that looks like some sort of infant's toy uh, online in Japan for like 40 bucks. And uh, it contributed to my workout. I actually used this thing for a year before I found a brand new electric one on discount and snatched it up. Once you're done making your juice, you can either add it to your healthy meals as a side or use it as a meal replacement. And the good thing about doing the latter is that you can drink as much as you want and not worry about calories, carbs, etc. For your first juice fast, most blogs out there would recommend going from Friday sundown until Sunday sundown. Uh, I did this years ago and I used all the extra time that I wasn't eating uh, to watch all of YouTube in its entirety, research cameras and figure out all the basics of shooting. The first day I was at home, then the second day, I went through piles of books at the uh, NYC Public Library where they shot the movie Ghostbusters. Since juice is complete with a spectrum of nutrients and hydrates, you can technically go as long as you want. A friend told me a story of a guy who was semi-retired and on a weight loss mission. So he drank only low sugar vegetable juice every day for a year while going to every single baseball game he could find under the sun. The longest I've personally done this is about a month, at which point uh, I certainly saw a positive body transformation, more clarity in the whites of my eyes, better skin complexion, and of course, weight loss. Lastly, remember there are many ways to get to your goals, and life is a marathon, not a sprint. There's no better time to be in the best shape of your life than now. Let me know how it goes for you, and if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, I thank you so very much. Time is precious and best spent with worthwhile company. Comment the secret phrase, cabbage to let me know you all made it to the very end and as always hit like hit that subscribe drop and share your comments to support this content and keep it visible on this platform 
Until next time, my friends, that's green juice. Cheers. Just kidding. Cheers. Stay safe, stay strong. Peace. A cold press masticulating juicer is uh, a cold press masticating juicer. Uh, <laughs> a cold a cold juicer.